and so welcome back to another videos of ECU Boot. I hope you all have a great day and anyone that has a problem with uh, their car, uh, I really hope you figure it out soon. Uh, if you like our videos, please leave a like and a subscribe. That helps a lot building the channel and I very appreciate it. So today, we're dealing with this uh, Mercedes-Benz S350 uh, W221. This vehicle is manufactured around 2008 or 2009. Uh, the customer brought to us with a problem that the engine is shut off unexpectedly while driving and a message without changing gear on instrument cluster. Uh, moreover, uh, we also have a uh, warning just like our last videos saying that our ESP is being inoperative and a couple of fault codes which is shown on the screen by using the uh, dash um, with that being said let's follow us to diagnose this vehicle so uh, here is the uh, dash um, uh, that I've connected with our S350 uh, for those who don't know uh, the AS or dash is the uh, like the older versions of Sentry diagnosing software uh, for all the models like uh, up to 2010 uh, we're using dash and as of 2010 it's gonna be Sentry now as you can see on the screen uh, there's a lot of file codes uh, after a quick test but most of them is related to our powertrain so uh, we're having DTCs in our ECM, our electronic transmission control, our intelligent server mo module, which is the uh, gear switch, uh, the ABS or ABR and so on. So uh, let's read out the uh, description of them. So I'm going to pick the uh, EZS, like the electronic ignition switch. Um, it's saying that um, no can message were received from control unit A80. So uh, the A80 is our gear shift, as I mentioned before. Uh, we also have file codes at our ECM that uh, related to the tumble flap. But in this case, I think uh, it's not very important. Uh, so uh, moving on to our fuel pump module. It's also losing communications with our ECM and gear shift. Um, uh, we have no CAN message at the electronic transmission control and a whole bunch of uh, codes at our A80s. So uh, imagine like this, um, there are actually a lot of codes, but most of them are mainly related to the lost communications with our ECM. Now, looking back to what our customer describes, so he said that the engine is shut off unexpectedly and it's kind of easy to understand why. Um, talking about our engine shut off, uh, we have a lot of reason for it such as um, like the uh, faulty fuel pump module or, second, or secondly is our ECM uh, because our ECM is going to take a, pun a bunch of information from auto control units to uh, monitor the emissions as well as the injections. Now, when it doesn't have those informations, uh, so it has to uh, shut down the engines, which is very, very obvious. Um, next, our transmission control module and gear shift could also be the reasons for engines to shut down. Uh, like while you're driving, the vehicles cannot understand your shifting behavior, like uh, where the gear is at, or like a bunch of values inside our transmissions. Uh, therefore, that could lead to engine shut off as well. So in the next step, uh, we have to analyze some values of our ECM to see if we have any more clues. So uh, this is after our engine shut off and we turn it back on.
So I can say that our life data are normal at the moment. So it could mean that this case is an uh, event faulty. Now, um, uh, in order to diagnose this uh, case, it requires us to have a, a lot of in-depth knowledge like uh, what specific values can lead to engine shutoff or um, uh, it doesn't even have any misfire when I take a look at the fault counter. So uh, to have a better view, I'll show you all the uh, data inside our ECM. Um, I cannot see anything that is out of the uh, ordinary yet. Um, we have our air mass is a little bit higher, but that couldn't lead to engine shut off. Um, our fuel pump is still in range. So let's go ahead to our uh, gear shift. So uh, like I described earlier, when you're driving at D and the computers don't understand it, uh, it could kill our engines. Okay, so uh, that's all about this vehicle life data. Uh, of course, we're, we're already figure things out and have the vehicle fixed. But um, what do you think about this case? Like, I really want to know your opinions about this and whoever got it right. I'll put uh, your names on to our next videos. And so that's pretty, pretty much brings me to the end of this video. I hope you enjoy watching it and I really look forward to hear your opinions. And um, uh, once again, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.